The funny thing is everybody talks about e-commerce shipping services, but in today's conversation, we're going a little further. We're going to compare and contrast ShipStation, Shippo, Easy Ship, Pirate Ship, and Sano. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story of Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to quickly compare and contrast Ship Station, Shippo, Easy Ship, Pirate Ship, and Sandal. The thing here is that when you talk about e-commerce shipping, and we know a lot of people, we, we know uh, thousands, if not millions of uh, of Americans nowadays are online entrepreneurs, whether they're selling on eBay, Amazon, Walmart, you name it. So the thing is, when you talk about e-commerce shipping, there are some essential services that you need to think about. First, if you want to provide efficient delivery and maintain customer satisfaction, you'll need to uh, equip your online store with a number of essential logistics services. You need to have a, a courier company. So this will calculate shipping costs from a different aspect of the package. I'm referring to the weight, dimensions, the fragility, and they can also make shipments and deliveries with, uh, with, within the network of uh, vehicles and couriers. You also need software tools. And uh, these tools process orders, send confirmation emails, create labels, and send notifications to the customer automatically. You want to have that automation. This is very important. You need to have some kind of external management service. You want to have a company usually with a warehouse which will manage shipments, returns, and communication with a customer on behalf of your store. You can also have your own warehouse and equipment if you have the budget and the resources for it. You got to think about pickup points. It's kind of useful to have a network of agreements with stores or collection points, especially if your e-commerce doesn't have its own physical stores. Okay. So what are the main factors that you need to think about when choosing e-commerce shipping services? There are a constellation. There is a constellation of uh, factors. First, you got to think about the weights. Many delivery uh, agencies follow a pricing model according to the size and weight of each parcel. So, if your products don't weigh much, you can opt for a national postal service with flat rates for e-commerce and small businesses. If your products are heavier or bulkier, you would find a private prov provider or a courier offering a range of products for parcels more convenient and suitable. You got to think about also the shipping cost, very important. So beside the weight, besides the weight, you got to think about shipping cost. It's always best to provide free shipping, right? <laughs> because this can otherwise be a common cause of shopping cart abandonment in e-commerce. Of course, it is an expensive additional cost for you. And to cope with it, you'll have to increase your prices or divert some of your profits toward shipping costs. Okay, the criteria that e-commerce couriers normally used for the calculation of shipping costs include the parcel size, the parcel weight, the country of origin, the country of destination, the online tracking system, insurance if included or not. Th th this is just a, uh, this is a non-exhaustive list, but this kind of gives you an idea. And other factors you need to consider when choosing e-commerce shipping services, you got to think about international shipments, delivery times, packaging, returns, express delivery. And so express delivery, for example, is very expensive, but more and more customers are choosing a next day or same day service. So if you offer this, you want to show the full rate your logistics provider charges. Many e-commerce courier services include uh, special plans for express shipments. And what about packaging? The, the thing here is that buyers increasingly these days appreciate sustainable packaging solutions so make sure the packaging is of recycled and recyclable material easy to open and is the right size to fit the item you might include a thank you card or offer a discount on your next uh, your next order on their on the customer's next purchase remember to enclose the invoice unless you have opted for a digital only and a return slip with instructions 
okay and e-commerce platforms and software extensions will both create barcoded labels for you to help manage your shipments however and this is a big however here folks i want you to pay attention if you do produce the labels yourself please use printed rather than the handwritten addresses all right i don't care if you have the the best handwritten the, the handwriting in the whole world make it look professional and uh, just print stuff what about international shipments this is a kind of important too especially because we are living now in a global economy so people are shipping uh, worldwide for international shipping solutions agency uh, agencies offer very economical rates the main thing is to present your customer with the cost of international shipping in advance whether on the product page itself or a separate faq page don't forget that sending products abroad entails attaching documents that you have to request from the office responsible right you want to make it clear in your shipping policy that you are not responsible for any local customs duties in each country so it, the bottom line here is that before we do the review the actual review if you to decide which shipping solution is best for your e-commerce business you want to take the time to draw up comparison tables you know when you where you write down all your expenses don't forget to include the cost of the products package and shipping the fee per credit card charge and if there is a custom duty and uh, you can try out several carriers services simultaneously to compare pricing efficiency and customer satisfaction also if you want if one carrier fails you will always have another to fall back on and you can e you can then either retain whichever of them seems best for your needs or you might continue using several providers it really depends on you all right now let's start the review in earnest first let's review sandal sandal for sandal is uh is, is a great is a great uh, provider they started in australia and they are the leanest shipping service that we have uh, come across basically you they allow you to make each package you send a carbon neutral one they do that by offsetting the carbon emissions indirectly through the funding of natural resource and other, and other grain projects and uh, the sandal branded compostable mailer is an addition to their no noble cause it's not free though but it rivals high quality poly mailers in strength and capability and it smells yummy too <laughs> so the interface is clean and easy to manage it integrates well with uh, shopify and ebay and uh, this allows uh, sellers to create shipments using orders collected on either platform and as the end user you are given a tracking link that points to the central website because unlike the other services that we are going to review today this carrier the the central carrier chooses to use um they, they use a different system and uh, the system the, the shipping system varies depending on the origin destination size and time okay and uh, we love the fact that uh, their tracking uh, capability is pretty slick wonderful and um, if you are the recipient of a package and the business ensures that your email is plugged in when creating the equip the shipment you'll get a link to track the package on sandal site and uh, so because sandal is taking an extra step in the service they are offering i'm talking here about the, the carbon offset position rates are going to fluctuate a bit compared to what you may be used to seeing so we're showing you right now on the screen there there are carbon neutral flat rate domestic shipping and it starts at three dollars 45 uh, cents and uh, we're also showing the pricing model here of course sandals pricing tier allegedly factors in all the potential carriers you may end up using plus being carbon neutral to create a matrix of flat rates you can see that on the screen here and uh, one thing i also want to show you that is that um you can also go to the website and actually see the instant shipping calculator they have a, a great tool there and uh, we're showing this to you on the screen and it goes by the it actually depends on the package size micro mini small medium and large what are the pros and cons here the pros of sandal is e they have an easy to use interface the compostable mailer smells real nice <laughs> and uh, it integrates with ebay and shopify and uh, you can create shipments the, the creating shipments takes little time what about the drawbacks rates are not very competitive in some cases limits are 20 pounds no way to determine which carrier you will get and you cannot choose to which projects your money will go i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere
Welcome back, folks, to uh, another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about uh, ship station versus shippo versus easy ship versus pirate ship versus sandal. So we just uh, reviewed uh, sandal. Let's move on to the next one. We have pirate ship. Pirate ship is, a, is good at one thing, being an interface for USBS commercial rate pricing and always giving you the cheapest possible options. And the interface doesn't have a lot to do with it but it ties in very well with eBay and Shopify, which is huge for sellers. Bulk create labels or do them uh, one at a time by typing or pasting in an address. It really depends on you. And Pirate Ship will do its best to parse it out. And what we've, what we've seen in our analysis is that the, uh, the whole process is very, very seamless. Entering what kind of packaging you are using and its size, and uh, you can put the, the, the price in, you click another button and boom, your label is ready to go. It's as fast as this. And the pirate ship only provides one shipping, one shipping carrier, the USPS, the United States Postal Service. So unlike some of the other shippers that we are reviewing today, they do not charge any extra fees. So you'll, you'll pay, what you will pay actually is the price for the shipping itself. Think about that. This is really, if you really, you know, if you really think about it, this is the epitome of free shipping service. Simple as that. What about the pros and cons? Pros, no surcharges for shipping ever. The best USPS rates all the time with no caveats. Integrations with Shopify and eBay, and they support international mailing. So simply because they're using uh, USPS doesn't mean that uh, they're limited to the, U the US uh, to the US only. They're shipping uh, internationally, no problem with that. What about the cons? They only use USPS. Address pasting can be a little wonky if it's capitalized strangely and this may not be a good option for faster shipping offerings and we're showing you right now on the screen if you want to have more info about the uh, pirate ships uh, pricing model we're showing you there is a link on their page so you have to go to their website and uh, they have uh, their pricing model for every year they have it in uh, Google Sheets in Excel and PDF so you can just click on download the, the sheets and they have a pretty comprehensive uh, pricing model and we have actually uh, gone through it and uh, yes now let's move on to shippo shippo the thing here is that if you've been in the e-commerce game for any length of time shippo will immediately come to mind and for a good reason they're the ones you think of when you're looking to use a specific carrier and want to get the best rate for it okay and shippo hooks up to all the big platforms here and i mean all the big platforms i'm speaking about um, Shopify, Big Commerce, Magento, eBay, Amazon, Squarespace, Etsy, Square, you name it. The user interface is clean and easy. It's easy to navigate and uh, getting a quote for the for a shipment is a bit more difficult than we had ex we had expected. And uh, we found it easier to use their calculator on the home page versus going through all the motions of creating a manual order. And this is something that Shippo has to work on, trying to streamline the process a lot more. And uh, Shippo also comes with neat additional functionality like custom branded packing slips and tracking pages. Very nice. For those who are starting out in the e-commerce game, you, you'll be definitely pleased to find a pay-as-you-go plan at a mere five cents a label. Think about it. So depending on the cost of the shipment, you, this could be very well, but a fraction of a percent per month. You want to find yourself shipping larger quantities of packages or if you need uh, those extra features that we talked about then you want to move on to a higher plan here you can think about the professional plan that starts at ten dollars per month for 60 labels that's about 16 cents each all right so this is kind of something you want to think about so we're showing you right now on the screen here the uh the shipping the shipo pricing and you can see all the uh their model the kind of stuff the kind of uh, prices they offer the free version the professional version and the premiere what are the pros and cons of Shippo? Pros, you have a massive selection of carriers. You have good discounts for UPS, USPS, FedEx, and DHL. And uh, they have they usually run like uh, free promos. And right now, they, as, of, as of the date of this show, they have uh, a free promo right now through uh, August 31st. But they have this promos all the time, so you need to check the... Uh, that you, you need to check the website for that. And one thing I want to say also is that the, another benefit is you have custom packing slips and tracking pages on the professional plan. What about the cons? Uh, the carrier choice can be overwhelming. 
Sometimes they suggest carry options with incredibly long delivery times. And um, the uh, the thing is that it's kind of hard to get a price court. You know, it, it's not really easy. So they have to work on that. Next, let's talk about easy ship. Easy ship, when you think about easy ship, I want you to think about a, a powerhouse shipping platform that will tie well into just about anything you have. WooCommerce, Amazon, Shopify, you name it. It'll probably hook up. All right. And uh, the thing here is that you, if you want to create a shipping process that is very seamless, that actually uh, prioritize customer service, you want to think about easy ship. You have no surprises. EasyShip offers fulfillment services as well with warehouse locations around the world and all the relevant taxes and duties are factored in automatically. Okay. And, uh, and it's kind of important to understand that EasyShip also comes with all the carriers you could ever imagine. If there is a particular carrier you're interested in, EasyShip has a handy search tool on their website and all the rates are pre-negotiated uh, pre and pricing is nice too. So we're showing you right now on the screen the, uh, the EasyShip pricing model. So EasyShip is really free to start and comes with uh, 100 shipments per month out of the box. No pun intended. Okay. The free plan also lets you tie in one carrier, uh, one carrier account of your choosing. So you move up to the paid plan starting at $29 per month and you get your hands on 500 shipments a month and a branded tracking page for your customers along with additional users and courier account integrations and then you also have the next uh, the next uh, the premium plan will cost you 49 dollars per month and there you have more again more shipments here 2500 shipments okay so so this is and if you want to have a custom solution if you are looking for something even more you want to contact the uh, the company and they will actually uh, help you out so this is very important what about the pros and cons of um, easy ship the pros you have a massive carrier coverage pricing is competitive with the other paid multi multi carrier options you have a 30-day trial of all paid plans to help businesses transition online this is pretty cool because then you have a chance to to try the products if you like it to try the service to uh, get your hands around the service and if you're comfortable with it then you can just uh, you can go with the, with the paid plan so that's pretty cool what about the drawbacks of using uh, easy ship the shipping cost estimator on the website is only good for up usps and some super slow dhl rates it can and it can only tie in one carrier on the free plan and three on the 29 dollar paid plan so Easy ship. This is something you need to work on, and you need to give uh, customers more options, a variety of options when it comes to paid plans in terms of the carriers. Last but not the least, I want to review today Ship Station. And the thing here is that when we start talking about big players when it comes to e-commerce shipping, Ship Station is the first to come to mind. Really, hands down, it's as powerful as powerful can get, and the automatic. UPS carrier discount is nice too. So if you are an e-commerce operator that has a real volume, this is where we would suggest you put your money and effort. ShipStation integrates with all the carriers and makes getting quotes from them incredibly easy. And this is uh, probably our favorite interface out of uh, all the quoting tools that it of, uh, each of these providers offers. And uh, ShipStation actually starts at $9 a month, no free plan, which is a little disappointing, but, but guess what? nine dollars is not a lot in the grand scheme of things right and uh, so they have a lot of features that are really pretty interesting so you have order management so you can import and manage your orders and uh, you have direct integrations to over 70 of the best selling channels and the ship station really makes it easy to manage all of your orders from one platform so the centralization process here it's fantastic what about shipping so the, the they are trying to simplify your shipping workflow they will generate uh discounted shipping labels for all of your online orders branding you can brand your shipping with uh, ship station this is pretty cool and you provide an exceptional post purchase experience with branded shipping and uh, and this is pretty cool folks because branded shipping gives you an opportunity to create a more personalized and memorable delivery experience for your customers at no additional cost and uh, with ship station you can also think about inventory management so you can efficiently manage your inventory from the warehouse or remote locations this is pretty cool you can view stock levels 
you can set up inventory alerts or allocate stock all while picking and packing and fulfilling orders more efficiently. You can also have you also have uh, integrations and partners here in terms of uh, so you can import orders from uh, whatever you sell and create shipping labels for however you ship. And we're showing you right now on the screen the pricing model for ship station. So again, it starts at nine dollars all the way to one hundred fifty nine dollars, depending on the volume that you want to process through uh, ship stations. What about uh, the pros and cons? The pros, you have an incredibly powerful interface. Creating a shipment and getting a quote is fast and efficient. And uh, ShipStation ties pretty well into all of the e-commerce platforms and carrier accounts one could have. No cons, there is no free plan and they could have done more to bring businesses in during the shift to online shopping. All right, folks, here is our pick. We have reviewed uh, ship stations versus ship versus is a ship versus pirate ship versus um, versus Sentinel. It's kind of difficult if you really think about it. It's very difficult to pick a single shipping service. What we have here are a few different categories and offering levels that cater to different crowds and business sizes. So let's just break down our picks. So if you want personal shipments and low volume eBay, we would recommend you go with a pirate ship. There is literally zero cost to use the platform, just pay for shipping and US, USPS's rates are good enough that you will find a lot of room to grow and still have your shipping needs met. If you have a new to online business, you want to go with Shippo because there is zero cost promotion that there is zero cost occasional promotion makes this a no brainer. You're just getting into e-commerce and not sure how everything's going to work out. There is no sense. Uh, there is no sense of nitpicking the details, right? Ship was kind of good enough to get you started, and just make things happen from there. And uh, Easy Ship is also a great option, according to our research, especially if you are looking to save in the long run. And uh, for already established e-commerce businesses, we would vote for ShipStation. This is a uh, This platform is insanely powerful and will meet your needs now and five years and ten years from now as your business grows it's all about scalability it's all about having a platform that grows with your business and uh and last but not the least let's talk about sandal if the environment is your business's top priority if you're thinking about if you're really aware or mindful about your the carbon emission or your carbon uh, footprint go with sandal it's not the cheapest but the service sure makes you feel good so our pick today after having said all that, our pick is ShipStation. We have scored this uh, company a 10 over 10, Shippo 9.5 over 10, Easy Ship 9 over 10, Pirate Ship 9 over 10, Sindel 8.5 over 10. At the end of the day, folks, any of these services could be could very well fit a large cross section of businesses and users. What matters most is the features you need for your business right now and as your business grows. The last thing you want, the last thing you will want to do is change shipping platforms every six months or nine months because you have outgrown it or need different carrier support. So once you have found a platform that's, that ticks all the boxes that matter most, you want to settle in and grow your business. This is very important. You will start to forget that they are even there. And that's a great thing, right? That's the kind of situation you want to get yourself into where you forget about the shipping company and they, because everything is so smooth. Things are so seamless. You can focus more on the front office, on getting more customers, on uh, expanding your brand. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I really appreciate your help. I was talking to you about ShipStation versus Shippo versus EasyShip versus Pirate Ship versus Central. So I gave you an overview. We reviewed the five uh, the, the five uh, services, and I gave you a nice recap. And our pick again in today's conversation is ShipStation. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.